It's Thursday, March 14th here in Seoul. I'm Oh Jin Ju, and you're watching Korean Now. Shocking revelations one after another in a spiraling sex scandal involving K pop stars, and that's where we begin today. K pop mega group Big Bang Seungri and singer Jung Jun Young appear e d before police today for questioning. The former over suspicion of violating the country's prostitution law, and the latter over secretly filming and sharing sex videos of women. They have both been interrogated as suspects this time. As for Seungri, this is his second time having been questioned in the ongoing criminal investigation. Upon his arrival at the Seoul Metropolitan Police Agency, c h o n g said he's sorry and he will sincerely cooperate with the inquiry. I'm so sorry, Mr. President. Chung, in a statement on Wednesday, had admitted to his actions, saying he will halt all activities and show business. Same goes for s u n g m i who announced this week that he will leave the entertainment industry for good. Now, at the heart of the widening scandal is conversations that took place on a mobile messaging app that brought related allegations to the surface and prompted the probe in the first place. <laughs> 상처받고 피해받으신 모든 분들께 다시 한번 고개 숙여 사죄드립니다. 제가 어떤 말씀을 드리는 것보다 진실된 답변으로 성실하게 조사에 임하겠습니다. 감사합니다. What has really sparked public outrage in Chung's case is how he appeared to have no sense of guilt in non-consensual filming and sharing those intimate videos with fellow entertainers and sexually objectifying the female victims. Plus, this is not the first time the singer has been accused of illegally filming a sexual encounter. In 2016, an ex-girlfriend had made an allegation against him, which was ultimately withdrawn. But there are now even suspicions surrounding that case as well, with allegations emerging that the police might have been involved in closing the case early. Plus, evidence has been found in the group chats online that suggest corruptive ties between the celebrities in question and the police, because one of the participants in the chat room mentioned about alleged backing from the chief of the National Police Agency. Under South Korean law, c h o n g could face up to five years behind bars or a fine as much as 30 million won, which would be about $26,500, if found guilty of secretly taking explicit videos. And adding to that, if he is also found guilty of uh, distributing those videos without the woman's consent, he could be subject to the same maximum punishment. Although South Korea is relatively lax about enforcing the law, the justice minister has hinted at severely punishing such acts this time. Renowned South Korean novelist p a n g s e o k y u n g has been long-listed for the 2019 Man Booker International Prize, one of the three largest literary awards in the world. p a n g was among the 13 finalists for the British Prize announced by the organizer on its official website on Wednesday. He is the second South Korean to be nominated for the prize after Han Gang in 2016 and 2018. And those were the top headlines for today. You can check the full-length articles on our official website. And don't forget to subscribe to Korean Now for your daily news feed.